Welcome back guys, today I'm going to give you a quick tour of Green and Castle in Ayrshire, Scotland. Now Green and Castle is a 16th century ruined tower house. Situated at the top of a sea cliff, it was originally a promontory fort, most likely because of its excellent sight lines along the coast. That's just a brief history, if you want to know more, hit it up on Google. But for now, let's go check out this old Scottish ruin and see what we can find. To get ya, we took a walk up the beach from Craig Tara, where we were staying just south of Greening Castle. We took this cliff top path, which was simple and easy to walk up. As you can see, it's been bricked up everywhere and closed off to the public. However, I did find a way in and I'll show you how I got in there at the end. But I have to say it's been closed off because of the obvious risks. It's an old structure that's fallen apart and it's on the very edge of a cliff. So just be aware of the risks involved when entering places like this. Anyways, let's get in there and have a look at the inside. This is the first floor of the castle. It's a shame about the graffiti, but there's some incredible views up here. Alright guys, so I just climbed my way into Greening Castle, bit of a hard climb in ya, only for the pros like me, check out this view though. Stairs to the lower level have either been purposely destroyed or they've crumbled away so you will need to be careful going down here and bear in mind you need to get back up this way. Now we're in the ground floor, I'm not sure exactly what this part was used for but it definitely has a creepy dungeon vibe to it. In a sec I'll brighten the footage for you because I couldn't see now in ya. Fucker. Mad bastard, you can't just shout like oh, wow. It's like a dungeon in yeah. All the stairs were collapsed. Hello it. from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. 
Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> So this is how I got in and out. The window is about 12 foot high. I'm six foot one for scale. Not really accessible to your ordinary person. However, if you're a half decent climber, you'll easily find your way in there. Whether or not you decide to venture into the castle itself, you'll still get some stunning views of the Scottish coastline, so I definitely recommend a trip to Greening Castle and Air if you're staying nearby. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and share it with your friends. If you know any good history I haven't mentioned, or if you've got any suggestions, put them down in the comments. Also any questions, I'll be happy to answer. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, family adventures, hiking, wild swimming, camping around the UK, hit that subscribe button.